Hello, in this video we will see how to build a dashboard with real-time updated data from website, easily refresh every few minutes and this will help us make informed decisions during a fast-paced competition. Quick story of the case study of this video. Back in March, when uh, competitions and events were still running, a very close to me first robotic student's team had a challenge how to get data from the Blue Alliance website during the event that they were running through, uh, which is updated real time, and all of this information is added uh, during the three day uh, competitions without copying and pasting in Excel uh, all the information all the time. You can imagine that's painful. In other words, they needed a dynamically updated dashboard uh, that will update the same way the website is updated. And they can see how uh, the competitors' teams are doing and the results and insight of the games. Uh, so they can make uh, informed decision when they uh, select their alliance partners and um, know how the rest of the teams are doing. So the first thing is you have to navigate and find your event date like this. At the very beginning you don't have all of these tabs, you will get only tabs for uh, the teams and maybe some awards if there were uh, previous events already uh, but during uh, the event or when the first qualification matches start the results uh, tab is added, ranking tab is added as well uh, awards is added later if there is nothing here and then district points uh, for each of the qualification points or playoff points again is added during the competition. The team tab uh, shows the list of the teams that are competing and that's the very first thing you can see on this website, on this page. And then uh, furthermore insights are added and media releases which in this case there's nothing. So. What we need is, we know that this is the event we are interested in, so we will um, just click on the first tab and get our um, URL, copy the URL and go back to Excel. We will go to the data tab, new query from other sources from web, paste the URL and click OK. The navigator will present us with several tables. If you click through them, you will see them. As I said at the very beginning of the competition, all these tables won't be there, so you will have to add uh, tables throughout the competition if they are not existed. But what we'll start with, we'll start with uh, the team's names and start with the first uh, team part, uh, table 5, I open edit and now we can update the name to teams part 1, uh, I won't do any other updates and load it as connection only. Let's get the second part of our um, teams list which was table 6 and edit table 6 teams part 2 and load as connection again so you can see I made a spelling mistake, but anytime you want to update, you can go to edit and open again and do your update. So I'll just change this and we can start uh, updating. First thing, we will add append the second uh, 
table part 2 so we will pen this query as new and the first is team part 1 the second is part 2 and click OK so now we have both tables together we can right click and delete uh, the third column we don't need it and one more thing we need to do is to split the number from the team name so we'll go to split uh, by delimiter and uh, Excel suggests correctly that we should use carriage return and we can say the leftmost delimiter and click OK now we have two columns and we'll update the first name to team number and the second header double click team name we have done everything with these two tables and we can go on and load if we want we can remove Ontario Canada because it's repeating but I'll leave it for now so now that we have this option we'll select um, cell A3 in this case and click OK that's our first uh, table it's called a plan. Let's say team list. And let's see if we can update. Okay. Teams. Thank you. Let's call it teams. Let's continue with the rest of the tables. So we'll go to new query and from web again paste and get the ranking table. Um, let's see which one is the ranking this should be the one so edit and name this query this table to ranking we can quickly check if we need to change any of the types but they they look good to me we can load to the existing worksheet and select A3 we call this ranking and the main ranking plus District points. So the next one will be our district points um, table. This is the district points table. And close and load to the existing worksheet and select that cell. OK, 
Okay. So next thing what we can do is um, because we don't want to go to the teams and make sure that we we know the names and uh, the location, we can add them to these two tables. So let's go and edit the ranking table and add the two additional columns of um, team number, a team name and location. So how we're we going to do that? We're going to merge the, the current table with uh, another one. And we're going to use uh, append and use all of the rows, full outer all rows from both. Now we need to um, make sure we select the matching two columns. We can easily check if that's correct. Yes. And now we can use original column names. And we don't need team number, we need team name and location only. So easy as that, we added the team name and location. And if you uh, click right click, you can move, or even you can select both of them and drag them right next to the team number. Okay, so now this is everything we need to do for this. Just close and load, and easy as that. We're going to add the team name and location to this existing uh, table. Let's do the same to the district points. We're going to go and edit and merge with the append query. So we have append, we want teams columns and full outer. Okay, now we need to expand and we don't need the team number. And we'll click and move them right next to the team number. And load and save. So for now we've done almost everything during the team the competition. You might want to add the alliance list. So let's do the alliance list right now. Data from web and we paste the same URL and select the alliance table. We can just even uh, load it to the selected cell F3. As easy as that, we have the alliance table created. So the captain and pick one and pick two. We can change the format to match the other one and that's the last step we're going to do with our tables. If we need more tables it will be the same uh, technique, you just add them through um, data and query. So what we need to do now is make sure that um, it refreshes uh, on a certain timing so we'll go to refresh all and select connection properties. So over here we have different options, enable background refresh, refresh every 60 minutes or whatever minutes we select to refresh data when opening the file. We can select all of them at the same time. So every time you open the file it will be refreshed but let's select every 
like one minute or two minutes depends on how quickly you want the data to be updated and um, we'll forget about the refreshing forever because it will be updated uh, throughout the day while we're watching uh, the competitions so if you want manually to refresh we can refresh each of the tables or the connections uh, you cannot refresh the connection but let's refresh the table so it's loading data and it, once it's refreshed it will stop and give you the update when was last refreshed in this case it takes a while but you can also refresh it using this refresh all uh, button or control alt f5 and every time you look at certain um, table you will see the time when it was last refreshed you can agree that having all this data in excel gives us the flexibility to sort filter and calculate calculate easily uh, during the event um, so that will be helpful for any uh, competitions or similar events like this one. Uh, if you like this uh, video, please don't forget to click the, the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. Hope to see you again. Thanks for watching.